Tiffany Trump, also known as the forgotten Trump sometimes, still lives an upscale lifestyle like the rest of her high profile family. After getting hitched at her father Donald Trump's Florida property Mar-a-Lago in 2022, it said that she and her husband Michael moved to the Sunshine State as well. Tiffany, who holds a law degree from Georgetown University, says she's currently employed as a legal research assistant at the university's law center, so she likely goes back for work there too. Meanwhile, her husband Michael assists in managing his family business, Bulos Enterprises, a trading company based in Nigeria that specializes in motorcycle imports. When Tiffany's in Florida, it's reported she lives in a temp residence at the luxurious Setai Resort in Miami Beach and they were still house hunting in the area. Tiffany and her husband likely chose a suite for their stay with a two bedroom suite priced at about $5,800 a month during high season. This suite features a sleek open concept kitchen and living area along with a spacious balcony and more. Tiffany Ariana Trump, born on October 13th, 1993 in West Palm Beach, Florida, is the only child of Donald Trump and his second wife, Marla Maples. Her name was inspired by the iconic Tiffany & Co store on Fifth Avenue, located near Trump Tower in New York City. Tiffany's parents divorced when she was just four years old, and she was mainly raised by her mother, Marla, in California. Despite the geographic distance from her father, Tiffany maintained a close relationship with Donald Trump and often visited him in New York City. Tiffany's upbringing was marked by a balance between the glitzy lifestyle of her father and the relatively quieter life in California with her mother. So considering Tiffany was the only child of Donald Trump and his second wife, Marla Maples, she was born with them together while they were living in West Palm Beach, Florida in 93. Close to the hospital where Tiffany was born is of course her father's grand Mar-a-Lago mansion estate, where she would spend a good chunk of her childhood. She would still continue to visit this place to this day. Tiffany spent a lot of time here with her parents at the beachfront estate, enjoying things like a massive playground, swimming pools, sports courts, and even mini golf for the lucky child. Unfortunately, Tiffany's parents would divorce in 1999, and while she lived with her mom, Marla, she still saw Donald often and visited Mar-a-Lago with her siblings. Tiffany's mother, Marla, signed a serious prenup with Donald when they got married, so when they divorced, she wasn't really entitled to much. Marla got about $1 million and an additional million for a home, along with hundred k in child support for Tiffany that would stop when she turned 21. Either way, Marla was able to buy a home in Calabasas, California, where she took Tiffany and relocated. Tiffany spent the remainder of her young years growing up in this Spanish-style abode in LA, which cost Marla $1.3 million in 1999. The home offered five beds and six baths throughout and was located in the gated enclave of Mountain View Estates. In 2011, Tiff was deciding what she wanted to do for her career, studying at the University of Pennsylvania and moving into the dorm building called the Radian, across from the college's campus in West Philadelphia. As you can see from photos, this wasn't your average student living quarters. The Radian was stacked with top-of-the-line student apartments and luxe amenities, which included a full private gym, club room, and stylish cafe. Tiffany's dorm would have cost $2,100 or more per month, but despite this, Tiffany had been limited in terms of her allowance from her father, receiving $500 a month. For this reason, the billionaire's daughter is said to be frugal with her money, even when she was splitting bills with her college friends. Tiffany was able to live in a stunning unit in the Trump Plaza co-op building on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. This building, known for its exclusivity, features 36 residences and offers amenities like a concierge, fitness center, private garden, and a two-story waterfall in the lobby. Tiffany's apartment in Trump Plaza was a furnished place with parquet floors, a galley kitchen with high-end appliances and marble counters, and cozy sitting rooms. The apartment boasted large open plan rooms with floor to ceiling windows that provided breathtaking views of the city. Her master bedroom also featured amazing city views and the minimalist ensuite bath had gold doorknobs, highlighting the Trump's brand's luxury touch. 
During Tiffany's time in New York City, she mingled with a group of wealthy and famous young socialites. While photos of her specific apartment were rare, she often shared glimpses on social media, like a 2019 photo in her living room with artist Mr. Blink Columbia and a portrait he created. In 2017, Tiffany went on to move into a fancy apartment in Washington, D.C. when she started to study at Georgetown Law in the same month. A smidge nicer than her former dorm, she set her sights on the I Street apartment complex in Mount Vernon Triangle, which had a ton of amenities like a cool lounge for residents. Other highlights included a stylish rooftop pool and barbecue area, modern fitness center with Peloton bikes, a study room, and a gourmet restaurant on site. The apartments here were spacious with large and open living spaces, as well as updated kitchens with top of the line stainless appliances. Tiffany seemingly shared only one photo while living here, sitting on a pink sofa in her living room with a clear side table. Now, the Trumps have largely relocated from New York to Florida, and this includes Tiffany too. Even Tiffany's mother, Marla, reportedly made the move to the Sunshine State. While details about Tiffany and Michael's current residence are sparse, it's widely believed that they live in Miami where they enjoy their social life. However, if Tiffany's still employed by Georgetown University, she likely makes frequent trips to the DC-based campus. It's said that Tiffany and her husband live at the Setai when they're in Miami, at least temporarily. Reportedly favored by A-listers like Beyonce, Madonna, The Weeknd, and Britney Spears, the Setai Hotel offers exceptional amenities like two acclaimed restaurants, a Valmont anti-aging spa, infinity pools, and more. Unsurprisingly, the satai is not for those on a budget. Rooms start at around $500 per night, while the penthouse suite costs upwards of $30,000. Tiffany and Michael probably chose a suite for their stay, with a two-bedroom suite priced at about $5,800 during high season per month. This suite features a sleek open concept kitchen and living room along with a spacious balcony. It appears the couple hasn't found their dream home and is likely still living at the hotel. After looking at Tiffany Trump's lifestyle properties, we can get a better sense of how the forgotten Trump is living. That'll wrap up today's tour. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you in another video. Bye!